Your home is your castle, and for the Findlays, their home wouldn't be complete without its century-old oak tree. But that's all about to change if a controversial developer gets his way. It's magnificent. It's over 130 years old. Mediterranean oak, one of a kind in Bondi. Uh, it's, you know, it can be seen from a number of streets in the area. We don't understand how in New South Wales today a developer can come in and try and remove a tree from your private property. What has it come to in this country? This is our home and he's ripping out uh, our, our hearts by doing that. The Finlay family home would not be complete without the people in it or this tree. Georgina and Rob say the large oak has barely changed in the 46 years they've lived here. There's trees of this type, the same tree in um, Europe that's documented over a thousand years old. We worked hard and we struggled for years to keep this house and it's our family home now. It's been documented. The now grandparents bought into Bondi before it was popular and raised their three children, Amelia, Adrian and Lyndon, in this heritage listed home. It's so special, Hannah. It's been here for over 130 years, so almost nothing was here at that time. So when the family received notification of a development application next door, alarm bells rang. It's gross overdevelopment, 15 apartments, four shops, two level underground basement car parking. But the worst part, the most distressing part for me and my family is it also includes an application to remove a tree that is 100% on our property. The DA has been put in by one of Bondi's most prolific developers, Vaughan Blank, who is already known to locals for all the wrong reasons. In 2020, the wall of a Bondi house collapsed while construction works were underway at Mr Blank's development next door. Then another one of his sites on nearby Lamrock Avenue came under scrutiny when cracking appeared on neighbouring properties. And now the Finlay family claims his plans for Hall Street include removing their beloved Mediterranean oak. So are we worried? Yes, we are. Not just for the tree, but for our safety as well and for our home, for our home. But in an email, Vaughan Blank said... Our tree, the tree sits on the boundary between our two properties, is most certainly beautiful and it is my preference to keep it. We have specifically designed the underground car park to accommodate the retention of the tree and have left a space for the tree's root system. It is a council requirement to obtain an expert arborist report. In this instance, their advice was that the tree be removed. Mr Blank referenced this sketch in his email in the southwest corner showing a spot for the tree. But also in the DA is this, showing the tree is marked red for removal. When questioned further, the wealthy developer responded, The tree is our tree, not just the Findlay's tree, and yes, we want to keep it. However, we cannot go against expert opinion. The expert advice we received from our arborist was to remove the tree. However, our preference is to keep the tree. If it was our intention to remove the tree, we would have designed the car park area right to the boundary, but we did not do this. Waverley Council says any proposed removal of a tree requires both approval from the landowner and council. And the development application in this case is yet to be assessed. But the Finlay family says no one's bothered to ask them what they want. I'm shocked by the lack of council response. Mm. Council's supposed to be here to look after residents and they're, it's as if they don't exist. The Finlays are so concerned they've installed security cameras around the tree. It's disgusting that we have to do that. They say if the plans are approved, it sets a dangerous precedent for all landowners. It's opened up the fact that a developer can walk onto anybody's property, not just ours today, but yours tomorrow, and cut down your property. It's sickening. Public submissions for the development closed this Thursday.